Okay, everybody, welcome to this lesson about materials. We are talking about 9A, which is uh, in your book on page 96. And more specifically, let's have a look at uh, the different kinds of materials. Many of them have been used in your homework, but some of them will be new. All right, so let's have a look at the materials. I'm going to show you a picture and you can tell me what the material is. So here are the kinds of materials we can talk about. Now, if we start on the left at the top, can you tell me what it is? Anybody? Stone. Stone, easy peasy. The next? Metal. Uh, and what kind of metal exactly? Steel. Yeah, I heard it. Mar was it you, Martin? So steel. Can you steel, excellent. I have metal, metal can be many kinds. Even gold is metal, for example, all right? So steel is what I make. What do I make steel from? from... What kind of metal do I need to make steel? Uh, iron. Iron, oh. excellent, good. What about this one? Cardboard. Cardboard, excellent. Next. This one is used for uh, either you know structures or roads. Hmm? Great. Concrete, excellent. So concrete, some of you in the in your homework, you wrote cement and that's absolutely correct. But concrete is a mixture of cement, sand, water and small stones. All right. So basically without cement, there would be no concrete, obviously. But um, yeah, all together, this kind this mixture we call concrete. Uh, can you translate the word concrete for me? Maybe easy. Can you try? Mm, I don't know. Okay, no problem. Anybody knows? Beton. Beton, there we go. Yeah, and then we have cement, right? Cement. Excellent, thank you. And now, uh, do you know a different meaning of concrete? Anybody? There, There's another meaning. It can be an adjective. This here is a noun. Adjective. The adjective means that it's like a solid like idea, for example. Or a plan, maybe. Yeah. For yeah. So, for example, I have concrete results. You can see the results, right? That would be an idea here. You build a house, and you say, "I have a concrete house, and this house is a concrete result of my work." Okay. And I'm not talking about uh, this material here. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, this one here is new. I think. Anybody wants to try? On the on the right. Anybody knows? So what is this for? Where do I put this? Those are roof tiles. Yeah, there we go. Roof tiles. Thank you. So uh, how would we translate it then? Good job. Uh, the next one. Anybody else? Bricks. Bricks. Excellent. Uh, here. Uh, this is new again. Yeah, uh, this was not in the book. I'm talking about this uh, piece of uh, kind of a stone. Marble. 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 Excellent. Can we translate marble? Maramor. Maramor. Výborně. What about this here? Glass. Glass. Wonderful. What about here? Wood. 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 Easy peasy. Now uh, the adjective would be also wooden. You can say wood or wooden. Both are okay, yeah? For example, wooden table. Now, wooden can also have a different meaning. What if I say, for example, that uh, um, uh, he's an actor and his acting is very wooden? Any idea what we mean here? It's like it's too rigid. Yeah, Maybe rigid. Like, rigid. Like his movement isn't organic and smooth. It's sort of just like he's tensed up all the time. Well done. So basically unnatural. All right. If you say somebody is wooden in any kind of situation, it means they are not acting natural. Okay. Which is quite funny because wood is natural basically. Right. All right. Anyway, uh, you, here you see the different idea for wooden. And then the last part, again, it was not in the book. Any idea? We use it usually for isolation. You know, and insulation too. Isolation and insulation, both. Insulation, yeah, echo. Um, damn, how could we translate? Anybody knows how to translate insulation? Zateple ni. Okay, insulation. I will write it here. 
we use this one. Yeah. Anybody knows what we would call it? Okay, no problem. If you don't know, no problem. This is not in the book. So styrofoam. Okay. Foam it you know, styro, I think comes from the name of the plastic that we use for it, but I'm not sure. Okay. Any questions, guys? Everything okay? Okay, wonderful. We still have two more slides to go. So here, uh, let's see the first picture on the left at the top. Uh, Honza, Z, can you tell me? Uh, plastic bottle. Yeah, well done. Uh, next one, anybody knows? Copper. Mm -hmm. uh, can we translate the word copper? Yeah. Uh, okay, next one. Porcelain. Mm -hmm. Porcelain. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, but there's a better word, Echo like Keramica. Porcelain is fine. Uh, That's ceramic. Ceramic. Yeah. Ceramic. Be careful. The pronunciation might be strange because we have a similar word in Czech. And also, by the way, uh, if we go back to copper, I can create bronze, right? But I need copper. And which other kind of uh, metal do I need? Yeah. Tin, excellent. Guys, you're smart. Nice. Copper and tin creates creates bronze. Wonderful. Okay, what about here? Rubber. Rubber, yeah. Well done. What about here? That's tin. Uh, tin can, okay. If it's made of tin, but this one is not made of tin. Uh, aluminium. Aluminium, yeah, there we go. Well done. What about here? Coins used to be, not today, but before, a long time ago, they used to be? Gold. Gold or golden, you can also use. Golden can be made of gold or it can talk about what else. If I say, for example, golden beaches of uh, California, for example, what am I talking about? Sand. Sa uh, well, not ex well, sand, yes, but what's the color of the sand? Gold. Gold, right? But if you say it's a gold sand, it means it's literally from uh, the metal, all right? Yeah. That's not what I mean, right? It's the real sand, but the color looks like gold. And if it only looks like gold, it's the color, then you, you must call it golden. Here, it makes a big difference, okay? So just like wooden doesn't mean that it's made of wood, we said that, uh, for example, his acting is wooden. It doesn't mean that his face is made of wood. We're talking or saying basically that he's unnatural, right? Just like here we're saying it looks like gold, but it's not. Okay, and the next, anybody knows? Silver. Silver, easy. Next. This was not in the yeah. book, this one, but clay. Somebody... clay, clay, excellent. And the last one? Paper. Paper, well done. Any questions? Now the last part about uh, clothes, all right? So these are the materials for clothes. Uh, let's start the first one. Uh, it was not in the book, this one. We need it for jeans, you know, and nobody knows. It's a special kind of material. Uh, it's called denim, all right? Not in the book, so don't worry. This is new for today. Uh, here, anybody knows? No plan. No we say so neoprene. Okay. Neoprene. Yeah, I also wrote the pronunciation here because again it looks similar to a Czech word, but the pronunciation is very different. What about here? Or fur. 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 Mm -hmm. What about here? This is this was in the book. Ni nylon. Nylon. Yeah. Nylon. What about here? Silk. Silk. Excellent. What about here? Leather. Leather. Good job. And here? Wool. Wool. And again, woolen, you can use as an adjective made of wool. There's no other meaning to my knowledge. Now, what about the last one? Cotton. Cotton. All right. Bubble now, right? The last one. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Now, let's. Th this is the material. Let's have a look uh, at uh, a few adjectives I can use to describe materials. I believe that some of them you already know. So can you explain the following? Materials can be degradable or non-degradable. Can you explain what we mean? Anybody? If I say this material is degradable or non-degradable. Degradable. 
degradable means that it can basically age and sort of become weaker and and like its properties are weaker Excellent. Yeah. over time and non-degradable means that just doesn't happen to it as yeah, much mm -hmm. that it will stay the same compound for a long time right if i leave it in nature for a long time you know it will not disappear very quickly it will eventually but not very quickly right so some uh, materials degrade very quickly some basically never degrade in our lifetime okay uh, there was a question i think somebody was saying something no okay so uh, and, and teacher i'm i'm here i can find the link for the lesson then i can find i can no problem. join no problem okay let's try number two materials can be renewable and non-renewable who wants to explain Hmm? It's very similar to energy. Maybe you, you learned it already. I don't know. Uh, renewable energy, non-renewable energy. Okay, we don't know. So we have the word new, novi, right? And then renew, yeah, obnovit, right? Renew. You make it new again. And then renewable, that means you can make it new again. That means you use this material and you can make new material like this very easily. All right? That means you can find it in nature very easily or you can grow it in nature easily. And some of the materials are non-renewable. You use them and on this, on this planet, we have only limited amount of this material. That means you, once you use it all, you will not find more on Earth and you cannot make it. You cannot just create it. All right. Can you give me one example of non-renewable material? Any one example from here? What do you think? Well, this isn't from here, but um, or it's, I guess it's not really much of a material, or more of a resource. Um, oil isn't renewable. Oil, yeah, oil can be, but it's more like a resource, true. But for example, gold, right? Is it renewable or not? No, it's just it's just, it's a metal and it can get. That's it. You know, yeah. Won't come for back. example, rubber. I can plant more trees and I can create more rubber this way, right? But I cannot create more cold. Okay, so that's the idea. The question is whether you can make it again and whether it simply is in nature or not, right? So uh, again, we can use it for materials. We can use it also for resources. And I'm sure you know it from resources already. Now materials, uh, sorry, there's a spelling problem. Materials can be recyclable or non-recyclable? I think that's easy, no? Can you explain, anybody? It's basically just you can use it again and again and again. Mm -hmm. But you don't make any new. You just use the same ones again. Yeah, yeah. Although I quality think... would probably go down, right? But still. Eventually, yeah. Yeah. And wonderful. it's used with, like, certain plastics, paper, and even metal scrap, as far as mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, wonderful. Good. Uh, you will uh, name some examples later as you speak with your friends. And number four, materials can be natural or organic is the same or man-made or synthetic. Now, can you give us an example or uh, explain it? Anybody? Anybody would like to try? Okay, uh, maybe Ladislav, can you try? How would you explain it? Uh, natural things we can find in nature and mm -hmm. man-made are made by man. Easy peasy, yeah. And it's the same thing, like synthetic is also the same. Now, uh, can you give us an example of a synthetic material? Um, plastic. Plastic, okay. Or here, we talked about... Nylon. Nylon, yeah, for example. Or neo neoprene can be another one. Thank you. Uh, I will leave that to you later so that you can give some examples. Materials can be combustible of, or flammable. It's the same thing again. Um, I think the second one will make it easier for you to understand. So maybe, uh, Martin, can you explain if material is flammable or combustible? Um, I don't know this. Okay, no, no problem. Uh, maybe beat, can you try? Combustible or flammable? Uh, flammable is... Like flame, right? Flame. flame yeah. Combust 
combustible i don't know what that it's the same means. thing it is the same, ah? same thing. but in, <laughs> okay. it, what does it mean if i say that a material is flammable or uh, light it can it can catch fire easily yeah i, it's I it. think that that's it it can catch fire easily and it can burn right all yeah. of it can simply burn okay. and then we have some material that is uh, fire resistant maybe i should write it here too uh yeah wait wait fire resistant versus fire resistant okay which would be the opposite you you can simply you know throw it on fire and then nothing will happen to it it will be okay okay wonderful oh yeah yeah wait wait i will put it here now number six materials can be radioactive or otherwise hazardous uh david can you explain david are you okay are you there so ivan can you try how would you explain this one well radioactive substance is uh made in factories i guess and it's not safe for uh, environment or people mm, it does not have to be made in a factory actually there are a lot of radio radioactive materials like uh, uranium for example and it's you can find it just uh, in a mine you can mine it uh, but the idea is if you have radioactive material somewhere nearby your your house or nearby you what will happen to you in a long term uh well from uh sickness yeah uh yeah, to an extra ear or a hand <laughs> yeah you can grow an extra arm yeah and then you can be more effective while working perhaps now uh hazardous there are more kinds right hazard can be any kind it simply means dangerous right it can be dangerous for different reasons okay now here are some logos i want to i want you to tell me what we mean Okay, Lukash, what is this logo about? If if you see this on a material, can you tell me what this means? Uh, flammable. Uh, flammable. 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 Yeah, or the second word, Lukash? Combustible. Combustible, excellent. Wojciech, can you try the second? Uh, recyclable. Re uh, recyclable. Re recyclable. That's it. Thank you. And the last one here. Uh, maybe we can try Matias. Matias, can you try? Uh, radioactive or hazardous? Hazardous, yeah. All right, excellent, guys. Those are all the words that we will need today for our discussion. Are there any questions? Everything okay? So I'm going to check uh, you uh, in the rooms as you have a chat. We are going to uh, see some questions now, and I would like you to discuss them together with your friend. Those are all the words that we will need for our discussion now. So thank you very much for listening.